and I don't even know if he's even got that kind of money. I mean, I, uh, his name's Terry. Terry No, Terry. Terry with a T. Oh, he, he drives truck for uh, Gully. Well, he drives for Gully? Yeah. He's a bass fisherman. Well, what does he say about him? I haven't got a chance to sit down and talk with him yet. He's, a bit, he's always on the road. Yeah. And he's, they've yeah, actually sure. been getting stuck on the road, like over in Indiana and stuff like that, you know, up in Michigan and Wisconsin. These yeah. guys keep getting stuck up there. Yeah, well, that's what's the problem with this guy's yeah, I'm so far behind I can't again. I'll be home when I get done catching up. He's, he's over about 22 hours and he, and he takes off back to the road again. Yeah, just give Mark a courtesy call tomorrow. Okay. I'm not going to set up a walkthrough until we get people in town. No, just give him a courtesy call. Don't set up a walkthrough. Just give him a courtesy call and let him know we're still here. You can let it, You can tell him, no, Jeff and me both want to, you know, I'd sound with Jeff. He just, you know, we both agreed to give you a courtesy call. So that you know that we're not just leaving you high and dry or anything else. We're still working on it. Just let them know it's, you know, hey, if it's just not one thing, it's another. That keeps holding everybody back. Yeah. Okay. Daddy, did you get the cup? Yeah, we need that. Cup? Yeah, just all you got to do is, uh, if you want to, blame, you know, blame more stuff on Frank. You know what I'm saying? Frank screwed us over, and I don't mind blaming stuff on Frank at this point. Well, a lot of it isn't. A lot of, a lot of it is just blame. Yeah, I know. Just say, like I said, some of the same investors we're competing for right now, and it's really hard when you got a guy like him just sitting there, you know. I don't care what you tell him; just keep Mark on the line and let him know that we're just giving him a courtesy call. You know, that that's a that's a polite thing to do. You know. And it's just stuff, it's stuff like, like that because it's like the. Well, you're talking stuff like this four four hour four hour from Quincy. It's tough to do any business over the phone. I don't like doing that. Yeah. Well, I'll make sure I get back to you up there and talk to Mark sometime tomorrow. That's fine. I take Gracie back at 6. Okay. She's supposed to call me sometime later this evening, so if I got an update, I'll call you. That's fine. I'm home. We'll be home for the rest of the night. It's just dad. It's just daddy-daughter movie night. Okay. Daddy-daughter play <laughs> book reading book All right. movie night. <laughs> She's crazy. I hear you. <laughs> All right, Steve. We'll, we'll tolerate you later, okay? And see if you okay. see who else you can talk to, and see if you can get all the chat or somebody, you know? Okay. I've been on her for the last couple of days since she saw me, and I talked to that guy the other night, so I'll keep, I'll keep you informed. All right, sounds good. I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye. Bye. Hold on, Gracie. You got to Hold on, sweetie. Be careful. You, you, you got all your stuff? Yeah. Oh, really? You got all your stuff, huh? No. Come on. <laughs> you go get the door for Daddy, okay? There you go. Here, take that inside. Got it? Oh, my mom. Oh, my <laughs> it's right here. Just dumb on now. That's my daughter. Okay, I don't want to break anything. 